the side. Overseas. The university has a thing called the halls of residence and when you leave home for the first time after school, when you first go to university, like this on the right hand side here, Carrington Hall, they have a halls of residence. We normally stay there for 12 months and there you pay for um, your lodgings or accommodation, your meals and your laundry. <coughs> and normally it's about 325 to 375 a week. After the first year, they meet their friends and friends and mates and normally go out um, flatting. And flatting is the cheaper option. And a flat in Dunedin is about 125 to 175 a week. Plus your meals and of course your beer money can be quite expensive for a student. So that's all. Um, so we're going down now to the university part of town. That's where the gardens are, Botanic Gardens. And you find that this is George Street, so it's still the main street. And there are a lot of um, there are a lot of motels down here, because the reason being that every so often they have a um, a graduation parade, and because all the you know the family come to see them being graduated, and they walk down the street, and they'll stay in these motels here. What was the dirty Mexican back there? The back there? Yeah, it's a dirty Mexican. Dirty oh. Mexican. Um, you know what that was? No, I didn't see it actually, so I'm not too sure. It could have been, um, oh. It would look like old, old Mexican. Dirty Mexican. It could have been a student, uh, a student flat maybe. They've got all these funny signs on students. A lot of them now will be empty. Look at the garden there. Well kept garden, isn't it? <laughs> a student flat. And a lot of these will be empty and they'll come back um, end of middle of February probably. Oh, yeah, it's right. up to the landlord to cut the hedge and cut the grass. Yeah. A lot of students, um, when they finish high school, they've had enough, so yes. <laughs> now the Botanic Gardens here um, is a, what we call the Gardens of Significance. And there are two again, one here and one at the Larnings Castle. And that means they've been recognized for their, um, I guess the architecture, the flowers and so forth, what's there. So, gardens of significance. They're set in some 25 hectares of land, and we'll just keep to the bottom part. We haven't got much time now. When you go through there, you'll see um, see how the grounds grounds been all cut away there with a the big buses trying to turn, and their back axle goes around the um, corner. And of course, Dunedin was the first had um, cable cars, and we were the second city after San Francisco to run a cable car. Had the cable car system been left like San Francisco, it would have been a great tourist attraction, but not to be. In actual fact, they are actually trying to um, restore the cable cars at a huge cost, millions of dollars they're trying to raise. And it's very much a long term. In, um... So we go into the Botanic Garden. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Huh? Very nice garden. ห่มแรงห่มแรงอ่ะห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแรงห่มแ
Come Vita! Very big. He chose all, all the good flower. These are acrylages. Yeah. You see? Very big bee. Ooh. These are those flowers, John. Yeah, they're not acrylages. No, they're not. Those. They look like. And and but they come. So many. So many. Yeah, they look like. Laying a strong, really nice. Excellent. They got garden hole, laying hole, laying. Oh, mummy. Huh? Cook you, huh? See. Now I know why honey, New Zealand honey, expensive. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Very big bee. Oh dear. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 Very cold. Oh wait, that bee is is not hairy. Yeah. Mummy's flowers. You mean they small, huh? Got leaf holes small. Leaf holes small. That's why there's no big bees around it. See. I just took a good picture. Look. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 Lấy ơi, hủ nai xa Beautiful Ah, 